hello welcome so i just want to quickly give you some major updates we have made to the app uh so so far we just like getting more crows at the end uh, of this application um the first one is that we added the settings page whereby a user can modify so this is the logged in user details they can go ahead and update some of these things uh for instance the their name last name email phone numbers and so on for instance if i put here 0784 and yes i like this one this phone number here and yes like update profile so you can just like update this information if i refresh right now you can just see that the number has changed so you can just like see that we can change this one then we have you can update the password now the password as you can see it is a special uh for it so if he changes the password he'll be logged out of the system and he has to log again in with the new password okay yeah so that's how it works i still want to show you more features maybe i will just like show you this one later on and another one we worked on is the api integration so the api integration gives you some routes that are exposed to use you can see so far we have the products endpoints user endpoints and order endpoints you can of course if you have uh, if you buy the source code or if you just have this code you can extend this api really to all the routes you want but right now we have extended it to uh, these routes you have for instance the products we have two routes they want to get all the products uh, which you can find here you can either click on this if i right click and open a new tab you will see that you just get the api that gives you all this okay or you could just say copy this and then you just go uh, uh, just go back uh here so after copying if you just go if you click on this copy uh you could just go to postman i've already closed it but you can just go into postman and you reset the response is of this format okay so actually let me just go and test the one for a single product i'm just going to copy this and let me just go to postman okay as it is just loading let's go and i'll be showing you other things okay so i will just be showing you other things as postman is opening but if you just go to the stock file uh, app there is why you have this get single uh get single product we can just go ahead and add in the endpoint and we see if this one works so if you just do this and try to send this request so you can see it returns back this uh product so these are working okay both locally and automatically it picks the uh, it picks the deployed version of the app and then we will put it here so that the endpoints keep on working. We did this uh, for products, a uh, user endpoints. You can see you can get all users. Okay, that the one thing that was really taken when the users is that we had to remove um, in this response. You can see we actually removed the password and the plain password you cannot see them but all other details you can access them if you have these endpoints okay then uh, we have the order endpoints you can also look at all orders uh, just like that okay so great so that is not the main feature actually so we add the settings we add the api integration where you have these access to these endpoints you can use them in any other application in your mobile app or in any other app next js app you're working on you can access all those endpoints now um the other feature we added um 
it was on the filters okay so we added some filters more especially the one with dates uh you know very well working with dates is not easy but we went ahead and added the filters for the dates for instance you can get the order that were made today if for instance i click this you can see that today's order is this one you can just say for last past seven days which is still this one for this month and then or even for this year or and then for lifetime you can just do again select using the this range picker which was really challenging to implement but later on we implemented it and it is working correctly so we have this 28th and this 9 uh, if you go ahead and click for instance on this 31st okay so you see it says you there is no any item within this date range but if you just go ahead and go for instance in july so right now is july 25th if i click like on this up to date you see it gives back all these um it gives back all these uh, uh orders and we did not just like apply this to only the orders this is working entirely across uh all like all the models because this was implemented and it is part of the data table so instead of just like adding it uh onto the uh onto the just user we just add it to the data table so that actually it does this uh for the all entire data uh for each data whether it is users what is sales so that is what and uh, these filters will be working which is really really nice okay yeah so and the search remains still working okay so the search still works which has a uh, really no problem and then they still the filter still works so which is really nice okay and if you just like have this one selected and you try to select here it should just still work work like reset all these okay it will reset this search again if you search then to reset this other one which is really nice okay so yeah those are big updates as i've said also we have the reports so we are still like working on the reports to look nice but we have a page dedicated for the reports and charts uh for the whole entire application okay so uh reports we haven't fed in the the actual data but we have this page coming up soon and yeah 